this is question number uh, OSC 15th again functions topic now uh, we have to find number of solutions of this equation 2 to the power x plus 3 to the power x plus 4 to the power x minus 5 to the power x equal to 0 so if I assume this as fx we have to find number of uh, number of values of x where fx is 0 or we can say points of intersection of fx with x axis right so in, so in fact um, in fact we divide both sides by 5 to the power x in fact we take gx instead of we divide this by 5 to the power x so we have 2 by 5 to the power x plus 3 by 5 to the power x plus 4 by 5 to the power x minus 1 so so number of roots of this equation is same as number of zeros of gx or we can say points of intersection of gx with x-axis points of intersection with x-axis right now before we start this question we need to understand the behavior of uh, a to the power x when a is between 0 and 1 as we have in this case 2 to the power 2 by 5 3 by 5 4 by 5 all these are values between 0 and 1 so we need to know the behavior of a to the power x when a is between 0 and 1 and you know it is uh, this is the graph of a to the power x the following graph as x approaches minus infinity this approaches infinity as x approaches infinity this approaches 0 now we are going to use this behavior to find the number of uh, roots of this right so uh, I, I'll see uh, if I take limit x approaches minus infinity now this limit x approaches minus infinity infinity means that if I take x to minus infinity here then what will happen to the gx function where gx will go where gx will approach if x approaches to minus infinity left extreme so we can see that so so there are these are the components of gx parts of the gx this will appear we have just seen a to the power x approaches infinity so this approach is infinity this part will also approach to infinity same here infinity minus 1 and and, and so you know infinity minus 1 is infinity so the graph of gx if I just give you idea about the gx graph of gx will approach to infinity as we approach to minus infinity right now let's see what will happen now what is the behavior of uh, gx at infinity g infinity you can say or you can say limit x approaches infinity gx so so you can see uh, as we approach to infinity this e to the power x approaches 0 means this approaches 0 this approaches 0 this approaches 0 this fill up a very small number of approaching to 0 because you can see what is happening to a to the power x it is as we go to infinity as we go to infinity it will be almost 0 approaching to 0 and then we have minus 1 so the whole expression will approach to minus 1 you will you can understand this much better after you would have done limits in continuity chapter so what we have seen is behavior of g at infinity is minus 1 so you can see this is suppose minus 1 line g will approach this at infinity right uh, at minus infinity it is infinity at infinity it is infinity now what about the between minus infinity and infinity now if we have to comment on uh, the value which is between minus infinity and infinity so so see uh, so let's let's look at this the, the the gx gx is a kind of function you know the graph of a to the power x it is a decreasing graph you will understand this much better after you would have done differential calculus as we increase x y is decreasing throughout always x ko badayenge y kam ho hai for every for every every interval if you increase x you will see y is falling down so same here in this case in this g function the, as we move towards right increase the values of x this will fall this will reduce this will also reduce this will also reduce this, will, this is static so as x increases gx decreases right that is falling graph because it means if you go towards right the values of y will come down and the graph is a falling graph and it, now you now let's see again the graph of gx at minus infinity it is infinity at infinity it is approaching to minus one and it been it in between it has to regularly fall and if it is regularly falling means that there is there is one value of x it can be anywhere there is one point 
वन वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वेयर ग्राफ ऑफ जी एक्स विल क्रॉस एक्स एक्सेस राइट बिकॉज बिकॉज इज अ कॉन्टीन्यूस फंक्शन दर इज नो ब्रेक दिस इज जी एक्स इज लाइक इट इज टू इट विल एक्जिस्ट फॉर एवरी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो एट माइनस वन इट इज इन्फिनिटी एंड एट लेफ्ट एक्सट्रीम माइनस इन्फिनिटी इट इज इन्फिनिटी राइट सो इन बिटवीन इट हैज टू क्रॉस ऑल द पॉइंट्स बट इट कैन नॉट गो लाइक दिस right it has to con- continuously fall and if it is continuously falling then it will intersect x axis at one point only so it means gx has only one point of intersection with x axis means number of roots of this equation or n- number of zeros of this is one 